Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Every game is an opportunity, and opportunity is knocking at FAU Stadium in Boca Raton. Players on the field getting set for kickoff, fans getting ready to fill the stands. Our game coming up momentarily. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Miami is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He'll return it from the one. He's tackled at the 28. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. junior and down he goes at the 43 yard line the offense was pretty successful on that play there that was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down and he's tackled around the 43 yard line what a play for a solid job there by the quarterback recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver to the receiver. They fake the handoff and complete the pass. Good for six yards. That'll make it second and four. Pulls it in and stops in his tracks with that tackle. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's hit immediately. Brad, you can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs, and the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next play for the offense, but clearly the offense coordinator very happy about the execution on that last play. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Second down, seven to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. They'll bring him down at about the 15-yard line. Touchdown! 
and he tacks on the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Time to ride that car down into Morgantown. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. The Mountaineers take it by four. In other games, we take you down to Dura. This one was tight. And for Francis, he threw for more than 150 yards. The Wildcats pull it out by a field goal. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Florida Atlantic lines up for the kickoff. Caught at the 8. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 35. Kirk, one of the top backs in the country we get a chance to see today. Allen's big playability makes him a threat to score really anytime he touches. I love this guy. And let's not forget about his big offensive line. This is a group that really prides themselves in opening up some huge holes for him. It's also going to be difficult to stop him and keep him out of the end zone because you think about it, he's known for his big plays, the home run ability. So if you can limit those big plays, you've got a shot at least to slowing him down. And he gets the ball 25, 30 times a game. He'll probably get that again today. It's second and nine. Ball on their own 36. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. From the 46-yard line, first down. Man, watch out here. And they make the stop right around the 34. Gain of 12 yards. First down. 41's coming. 41 to Mike. Squad, squad, squad. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. Mike. Set. 180. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled at the 19 yard line. Number one brings him down at the 19 yard line. First down. From the 19 yard line. First down. at the 22. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Sacked on play action. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. This is the eighth play of this drive. Screen pass. He's got his half back. Brought down at the 13. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. It's up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Carter is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line.
the offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Florida Atlantic is up by four. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Number 80, the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and 10. him hard at the 24-yard line. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Parker will be the return man. And he muffed it. Tackle made at the 46. That's a tough break. Whether you lose the ball or not, it can mess with your head when that happens. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. made around the 48 yard line it's second down eight to go ball on the 48 yard line hang on everybody because it looks like they came ready to play today 7-3 FAU to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. The 28-yard line. That's a gain of 15. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. quickly and he's got his man i'll tell you something i'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on he's really throwing the ball with some purpose fires a laser touchdown So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he adds the extra point. So a five-play, 53-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. From his own goal line, tackle at the 27. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. 
Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. That makes it second and ten. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. Run down in the open field. That's on the tackle at the 33-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. Callahan is the punter. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Miami has a three-point lead. Throws complete. He's hit right away. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he is drilled the 39-yard line. Call a gain of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. complete he's got room to work and he's tackled around the 31 yard line gain of eight on the play that, that makes it second, second and two it's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks Allen, it's a ball left side and they got him for a loss down 10 yards to go ball on the 28 complete brought down nothing doing the hurricanes taking their first time out of the half that play was going nowhere yeah give a lot of credit to the defense here recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver miami is up by three He's hit and taken down. So they'll pick up a first down there on a seven-yard completion. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. He can't ask for much more than that. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a gain of four yards. That brings him second and five. From the 14-yard line, it's second down. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. He's got it. Touchdown. These guys don't get tense down by the end zone. Sometimes a young quarterback will make a silly mistake or a receiver will come down with a case of stone hands. But not with this group. He makes the PAT. Looks 
like they're ready for the kick. Miami's got some new faces on the roster that they're expecting some big things from, partner. And, you know, that's what's great about college football. New faces every year, unexpected stars, and the newcomers that kind of splash onto the scene. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Going deep. Almost picked off. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. That's a great tackle at the 38. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. He's got it out to his tight end, and he's taken down at the 45. The Owls call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Mike 56, Mike 56. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. Let's give this quarterback a lot of credit. He recognized the man coverage. And, guys, I'm going to tell you something. He probably knew he was going to go to the post before the ball was even snapped. Well done. And he tackles him hard at the 10-yard line. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. The Owls using their third and last timeout. So with the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Kicks up, and he's got it. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The nation's elite team in the top five. The Hokies strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. And for Morrow, he's fired a touchdown strike. The Hokies lead 7-0. Touchdown difference, Reese, 17-10 here. With only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime, I would expect he'll just quick kick this one. And he'll return this one from the seventh. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. That's the end of the half, and believe it or not, folks, it's still anyone's ball game. 17-10, Miami. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, Get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. 
Parker from the three. At the 30. The 50. Inside the 30. And he's brought down at the 20. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. Miami up seven points. Big play, and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. The Owls lost a player earlier, and Herbie, this is a big blow to this team. Doesn't look like he's going to play any more football today. They go to the left for a nice game. That brings him second and goal. And the goal line defense digging in here. Touchdown, Kane. This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. And he tacks on the extra point. Carter has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. And down he goes at the 19. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That's good for the game three yards. That makes it second and eight. Bounds around the 23 yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. Townsend was the intended receiver on that pass. That's going to bring up fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. And they're coming after this punter. Looking for the corner. He's pushed out of bounds around the 39-yard line. The Hurricanes have shown here in the third quarter they're not content to just sit on that lead they built the first half. Well, they did a nice job in the first half, but the adjustments that they made in halftime have allowed them to find some matchups to their advantage, and they've taken uh, full advantage of that. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. And somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at the 36. That makes it 37. Throws and it's incomplete. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. And he's hit immediately. That's such a huge letdown for this defense. That kind of conversion is just inexcusable. He's at the 20. Tackle around the 17-yard line. Man, 
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 17 yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. Game seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They bring the quarterback down. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 14 yard line. As a man, he'll lose big yards. A four-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. It's up, and it is good. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Time to get you up to date on what's going on in the top five. Potentially major BCS implications. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. The Hokies keep pounding away on the ground and they find Cater. Virginia Tech leads it 14-7. Elsewhere, the Cardinals were ranked number 17 in the land. After the disappointing loss, they hope to just maintain any position in the poll. And for Vanderbilt, they remain red hot. Vanderbilt pulls it out by a field goal. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Tackle made to the 21-yard line. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 21-yard line, second down. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Pride was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Right, right, right. Pull it down, pull it down. Check four, check four. Mike 56. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle made at the 21. Low brings his down at the 21-yard line. Fourth down. Callahan awaits the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. The offense ready to go again, and their last drive ended with three points. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 44. That brings him second and five. From the 44-yard line, second down. Slings it. And they push him out at about the 35. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. Tight right, tight right. Go down, go down. Check A3, ball going A3. On the draw play. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. That's good for a gain of 20 yards.
First and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. One more quarter to play. This one appears to be well under control. 27 to 10, Hurricane. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Mike 55, Mike 55, E, 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 E. Here we go. Red 18, red 18. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Brought down around the three-yard line. Great job by the quarterback. He had a slant called against zone coverage and threw it at the perfect time. First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. Touchdown, Hurricanes! Still a long ways to go here in the fourth quarter, but that score has certainly put them in a great position to win the football game. And he hits the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Time to take a look at the nation's elite in the top five. Let's take a look at this one again. The Hokies continuing to pound the rock on the ground and score a touchdown. And for Wesley, he's crossed the goal line twice on the ground. The Hokies lead 21-14. All right, thanks, Reese. Miami gets set to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Quick pass. Pressure. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 42. Complete and pushed out of bounds behind the line. That makes it fourth and eight. teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. From the 42-yard line. Second down. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he's taken down at the 29. 
That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of 13, 13 yards. yards. That, that makes, makes it first and 10. Right, right, right. Four down, four down. Less than three minutes in the game. They get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of five on the play. That brings them second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 24 yard line. 41's coming. 41's a Up the middle for a nice game. yard line. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Gets it up and it splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four yard line. He makes it to the 25 yard line. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home, and Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservations. Gets out to around the 35. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. the stop right around midfield. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. There's a strike complete. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. say we're glad this one's over. Miami 37, Florida Atlantic 10. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.